Today on the channel, we got an old-fashioned two-for-one with the Executioner slash Terry Bam Bam Gordy Mattel Elite Series 108. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! the channel for another WWE Mattel Elite 108 unboxing and review and today we got a two for one with the executioner slash Terry Bam Bam Gordy but for all your Terry Gordy executioner needs make sure you end up ringside collectibles use discount code Kyle save yourself 10% and we first were announced to this figure San Diego Comic-Con 2023 I was sitting in the audience I was eating it up with a fork and a spoon even grabbed a spork from KFC. I'm excited for this one. This one's playing all the hits for me as I love Terry Bam Bam Gordy. I was of the age where the Freebirds, uh, I didn't get to see a whole lot of Freebirds until later on in tape trading, things like that in the late 90s, mid to late 90s, I guess. But I definitely knew who the Freebirds were from the PWI magazines as a little kid. I first really came to love Terry Gordy, though, when he was with Dr. Death, the Miracle Violence Connection. Their matches against the Steiners in WCW in Japan, absolutely legendary. If you like your hard-hitting wrestling, check out those. Big Dr. Death fan, big Terry Gordy fan. Big Freebirds fan all these years later. So this is one we needed in our collection. It has been too long since we've had a Terry Gordy figure. Very excited about that. But to put a little bit more icing on the cake, we get the Executioner. Obviously a little bit of a Russell Crap gimmick as we do know. A short stint in the WWF back in the day. But I think it's really cool Mattel gave us a 2-in-1 here. Because I, let's be honest, I don't know if the Executioner would sell so well on his own. But putting it with Terry Gordy, I think it really helps sell the Terry Gordy because sometimes some of these deeper cut legends, Terry Gordy shouldn't be a deeper cut legend, but I don't know if he will set the world on fire. That's just business hat talk right there. I love the idea of these two-in-ones. Would love to see some more two-in-ones in the future. It'd be really cool to get like Barry Darso four-in-one pack or something like that in the future as well. But I'll take this Terry Gordy here as we work to build out the Freebirds and we work to build out the Buried Alive match. But of course, we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. So without further ado, let's see what old Terry Bam Bam Gordy's up to. And it is no good. Straight up no good is what he's up to. Well, we'll see here. But he does got the plastic window, WWE logo down below. Terry Bam Bam Gordy. There he is looking only like a country boy could look. And of course, he started wrestling at 14. Absolutely wild. Elite at the top, WWE. There's old Terry with the UWF title, which was an interesting one as we were like, wait a minute, what's going on here? And then a couple weeks later, I did show it in the Toy News of the Week, the UWF title belt. Well, this week we found out just a couple days ago that Big Bubba Rogers, Big Bubba Rogers, from the Target Legends line will come with that UWF belt. So be on the lookout for that later on in 2024. Certified authentic Terry Gordy looking good, elite at the very top. Then on the back of the package there, there's a glamour shot. Got the tail of tape, got the blurb, got the cross sell. We're unboxing all these on the channel. Make sure you do subscribe. We will unbox uh, the Chase Chelsea Green, and we'll rank the entire wave from my least favorite to my favorite. So stay tuned for that one there, of course. And then it's got some jibber-jabber at the bottom. Let's see what it says about old Bam Bam. First time in the line, hopefully not last, but very well could be. So I would get this one if you're on the fence. From Bad Street, USA. Absolutely beautiful this time of year. Height, six foot four, Weight, 289 pounds. Finisher. The old power bomb, and he'd really stack them high on those power bombs, as we do know. Uh, whether the enforcer of the fabulous Freebirds or the executioner of WWE, Terry Bam Bam Gordy was one of the toughest superstars to ever lace up a pair of boots. So there you go, career highlights. WCW Tag Team Champion, UWF Hall of Fame inductee. All right, UWF Hall of Fame inductee. I don't know if that's right. I don't remember UWF having a Hall of Fame, and let alone him being inducted into it. I wonder if that was supposed to be UWF Heavyweight Champion. I don't know. We'll have to see, I guess. So there it goes. See you later. Put a little spin on it. Goodbye. And old Terry Bam Bam Gordy looking only like a Terry Bam Bam Gordy could look if he was in Mattel Elite Series 108. And he's got some serious rubber band action going on as well there. I'm going to pop this out. And it is a two-in-one figure. Bam! See you later off the screen right there. And I'll never forget the Buried Alive Jack's Bone Cruncher 4-pack. It was a Target exclusive back in the day. I can still picture buying that at Target. I know exactly what Target 
I bought that at as a kid. Uh, there you go. See you later. I remember to the day picking that one up, and we still hit that target in our weekly figure hunt. So it's absolutely wild times out there. Man, this is a good looking figure. But we're going to dive into the accessories first. That's going to be the plan. Two fists to Terry Gordy Fury right out of the package. A guy you don't want to throw fists with, of course. But then we do get gripping hands over on this side. So as usual, choose your own hand adventure or throw the hands off the table. You could do that too, just like I did. But uh, that's the way it goes from time to time. You do get a weapon. Oh my gosh, not enough wrestling weapons. If I was a little kid, there'd be death in the ring. Uh, we do got the uh, brown handle here. You got the axe at the top. Truly the executioner chopping off hands, uh, chopping off heads, chopping off legs, chopping off whatever you get a hold of there. A dangerous job, but one only an executioner can do. Now we're going to dive into the executioner right here and see what's going on. So we do get a, uh, what do we got here? Okay, we got a head. We got an extra head. We're going to do executioner first, what we're going to do here. We do get this head. I wouldn't say this looks like Terry Gordy through the mask here. And it was weird. I thought it was a cooler thing when it was happening at the time than all these years later. It looked like his mask was kind of loose, didn't fit real well. It was a very clunky thing, and that's why it didn't work out and didn't go very far. But uh, definitely looks interesting. I don't know if I can say this is the executioner if somebody handed me this head. But it is what it is. It is a one-and-done mold, I would have to imagine, with this one. So that is cool in itself. But it is a masked uh, figure. It is a masked guy right there. So we do get that. Now, beautiful, beautiful soft goods cape. You guys know me. I love a good soft goods cape. I'm all about those soft goods. Big black cape around there. Got the hood over the top. And you got almost like cane, red and black attack. You got the flames over the top as well, looking very, very nice. You even got a, part, a spot in here for the hand so you can do kind of the macho man, hold the robe open like this. He could truly be telling everybody he's going to execute you. That's what he could do. But a beautiful, beautiful soft goods robe here. Red on the inside, black on the outside. Absolutely fantastic here for that. But we're not done, of course. We do get the singlet right here for the executioner. Look at that. Looking absolutely wild. So a full-on another outfit here. Now here's the other thing. Maybe you got a Mattel basic sitting around. Maybe you got an old elite figure and you don't want to buy another Bam Bam Gordy. Well, you got a double or something like that. You could theoretically dress anybody up in this outfit. You could boil and pop or pop the head off, put this head on there, and voila, you got a homemade executioner instead of having to buy another Terry Bam Bam Gordy figure. For me, I'm such a maniac and I love Terry Gordy. I'm buying two of these figures, but it would be a cheap way to do this. If you got an old basic or something you want to just dress up, you could do that if you wanted to. So that's a little bit of a pro tip right there. But the Executioner is absolutely cool. I am so happy Mattel did something like this. And like I said earlier, would love to see more of that in the future. Like I said, give me a Barry Darso. Give me that golfer gimmick, the blacktop bully. Give me all these different ones that we can mix match. Uh, do things like that. Steve Lombardi, give him a Brooklyn Brawler, Kim Chi. There's a lot of ways they could go. And man, I'd be here for it. But now we're going to dive into, of course... Terry Bam Bam Gordy, and I have to imagine most people, uh, sound off in the comments below, most people probably want a Terry Gordy in their collection. Uh, and this very easily could have been in the Mattel Legends line, of course, from Target. As a Freebird member, uh, one of the biggest big men of all time, uh, really agile, just a lot to say about Terry Gordy. And he recently had a dark side of the ring, if you're watching that on Vice, just a couple of weeks ago. So I'm sure you can find that if you want to. But man, oh man, is this a cool one here. Of course, his son, Jesse, Ray Gordy back in the day. One of the best Jack's Ruthless Aggression head sculpts of all time is that one as well. Check out that if you didn't know about it. But let's dive into Terry Gordy. Right off the bat, you got Terry Gordy. Like kind of that, I don't know, he always kind of reminded me of a basset hound in the face a little bit. Kind of those sad little eyes going on. Uh, bigger face. Got some jowls down there. I uh, got the blondish, kind of brownish, reddish hair as well. Big mop top up there on the head. Uh, body, fairly plain Jane, but big size. He was bigger than this, but he was this size part of his career as well. So I think this does work. Of course, very plain Jane in the black trunks, black knee pads, black boots, socks up over the top. Kind of is what it is for the most part, but that's to be expected here with old Terry Gordy. Uh, he was just kind of a plain Jane look, but he was all a go in the ring, as we do know. He was not messing around. And I did find, uh, I dropped my stand. I was going to do articulation, and I got my stand right here. So i got to have that ready to go. But our articulation, of course, head back forth. Head is going to be removal for the executioner. Arms go all the way around for us. Bicep cut, double jointed, pinless elbows. Hands back and forth, of course. Ab crunch, waist articulation. Big old splits if you need them up and down all around. Side to side of the thigh. Double jointed knees, not pinned. Uh, or they are pinned, I should say. Uh, boot cut, of course, ankles back and forth, up and down. Looking pretty good. All the usual hits playing with the Martel, Mattel articulation except for the pinless knees. 
Uh, not in the cards here for old Terry Gordy. And man, it really makes me want a Dr. Death Steve Williams, and it really makes me want a Buddy Jack Roberts so I can complete the Freebirds, complete the Miracle Violence Connection. Uh, give me a couple of different Dr. Deaths. Man, I'd be here for that. Give me the red trunks, the black trunks, the different robes. Here for all of it, here for every single bit of it, no doubt about it. But Terry Gordy, of course, fitting on a Mattel ringside collectible stand. Use discount code Kyle, save yourself 10%. But as we were saying there, Terry Gordy's had some figures in the past. We did get him way back in the day in the Jack's Classic Superstars Walmart exclusive three-pack. Of course, we love our Classic Superstars on this channel, but this is the three-pack one from uh, Jack's Classic Superstars. There you go. So we did get that. And of course, you got to have Michael P.S. Hayes. We are almost there to complete those Freebirds. Uh, get me Jimmy Jam Garvin. Get me Bad Street as well while we're at it. Let's get all these Freebirds together. But I do love having these guys together. These are where they're going to be displayed for me, at least until Dr. Death comes. Then we're gonna have to make some choices, no doubt about it. Might I need another Terry Gordy for different shelves. We'll see what happens there. But very cool to get the free birds flying again. Oh man, oh man, just get me Buddy Jack Roberts. I'm hoping that announcement is sooner rather than later. But then the big part of this, of course, is the executioner years of, uh, or I should say days, really. It wasn't like he was in the gimmick for years. It was a couple of days for the most part. But we do remember, of course, the executioner back in the day. I did talk about it, that Buried Alive set, and I actually have it. This is actually my childhood executioner figure. He's seen better days. He's got a little bit of those froggy legs, of course, but that is Terry Gordy. Uh, the executioner, a jobber in my fig fed. Will he stand? Oh, look at that. Through the magic of YouTube, he stood right there. So Terry Gordy, executioner back in the day. Pretty plain Jane compared to what we get here from Mattel. And then, of course, you're thinking of that Buried Alive box set. you got to have The Undertaker. You gotta have Mankind. This is the Mankind we just recently got from uh, the three-pack ringside collectible exclusive, the Monday Night Wars Undertaker, kind of the closest thing I could find in reaching distance. And then, of course, Paul Bearer, another local one, or local? How about recent? A recent one we just received here from the Elite line as well. So Terry Gordy filling a lot of holes in a lot of teams, a lot of stables, doing a lot of different things. Very, very welcome in the Mattel Elite line for somebody like me. And man, like I said, give me Dr. Death, give me Buddy Jack Roberts, and I'll finally be able to sleep at night. How about that? Uh, but I would love to see that in the future from Mattel. We do know WrestleMania is around the corner with San Diego Comic-Con right after that. We should be pretty clear if we're going to get any of that kind of stuff over the next couple of months. We'll just keep our fingers crossed as of right now. But there it is, the Executioner slash Terry Bam Bam Gordy. What are your guys' thoughts? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I'd be interested to hear, are you buying two of these or which way are you going to go in the display case? You go on Executioner, you go on Terry Gordy, you go in that dreaded pass game. Let me know your thoughts in the comments once again. Of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on the old notification bell. We got videos every single day and then some. And of course, over on Patreon, you get early access to both YouTube channel videos. You get the monthly Q&A, you get the monthly giveaway, you get dog stuff, pizza reviews, all the glamour shots from all the videos. It's all over there on the old Patreon. And Patreon, the best way to support this very YouTube channel. You can also support the channel at ProStandTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And then, of course, don't forget over at Barnes & Noble for the exclusive hardcover edition. And, of course, Amazon is where I recommend the softcover edition. It is the complete guide to Jack's Classic Superstars by yours truly. Almost 700 pages of content right there. And you can learn all about this Terry Gordy figure in this very book. So there you go. And I appreciate all the support out there. If you do want an autographed copy, hit me up at SirPaul64 on the X, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads, and on Instagram. So for Terry Bam Bam Gordy, a.k.a. The Executioner, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.